What's up ladies and gentlemen, ever since YouTube introduced 360 video on the site, 360 has blown up, now there's multiple 360 cameras, and in our case, we got ourselves some footage on the Samsung Galaxy Gear VR. Now, as you guys can see, this is footage shot in 4K, and of course, Samsung has its own awesome software that allows me to go ahead and stitch this all together, but that doesn't mean the color is accurate, that doesn't mean the entire footage is perfectly the way I want it, and that doesn't mean that I could just go and upload it to YouTube right then and there. Now this is where Cyberlink's all new software comes in, known as Cyberlink PowerDirector 15. This is their all new edition that includes, you know, the typical video editing things, but it also allows you to edit action camera footage and it allows you to edit 360 footage. So that's where things get pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and give a quick shout out to Cyberlink for going and sponsoring today's video so of course feel free to go ahead and check them out in the link below and without further ado i'm going to go ahead and click the 360 editor button and it should open it right up then we are going to take my 360 footage and we are going to put it right exactly here all right so we got ourselves some footage pretty awesome um, as you guys can see, it looks a little messed up right now, but don't worry, uh, Cyberlink, uh, Cyberlink's Power Director actually comes with a pretty awesome little button that has a little 360 on it, and watch what happens when I click it. Oh, what do you know, it's just like YouTube. I can go and play around with it and move it around to wherever I want to see at that particular moment. How cool is that? Now from here on out, you can go and use all of the normal tools that you can typically use inside of PowerDirector. Now PowerDirector, of course, has a bunch of tools that may not be suitable for 360, but still work. For example, some of the effects they have, uh, for example, this one, obviously will work on the footage, but that doesn't mean you should go and use it since there might be some distortion. When and you play this back in 360 but other things like adding titles and of course adding cool little effects and even color correction which is the main reason that I wanted to go inside of here all of that will work adding titles as you guys can see here are some titles that comes with power director uh, here are some templates as well and of course transitions all of which you can simply drag and drop directly onto here and you guys should be set so that's pretty awesome now I'm gonna actually double click on this and show you guys a handful of other cool things that you can go and do so of course there's a chroma key option you can mess with the shadows reflection border flip and of course fades and there are multiple options as you guys can see underneath this but there's also some options when that allow you to play around with motion so as you guys can see there's certain zigzags and things here you can also rotate the video and even even add a motion blur should you need. You can also change the scale, opacity, and of course position of this, which are all typical things you should be able to do with normal footage inside of uh, Cyberlink's Power Director. However, as you guys can see, you can mess around with the 360 footage and see it from all angles, which might not be possible on other products that allow you to edit 360 video. So that is pretty awesome in itself. Aside from that, guys, it's just a pretty cool tool to just snip things up in case you don't feel like color correcting or editing or anything, and you simply want certain parts of your 360 video to look right and other parts to not even be there because they don't look right it's pretty awesome since you know you can mess around with it directly in here but if you want to see the overall globe view you can also just turn off uh cyberlinks 360 and you should be set to go move it around and this is basically your overall shot. So as you guys can see, it is a pretty awesome piece of software. Now this isn't the only thing it allows you to do. Go ahead and check out my two other videos that I made, one of which allowed, um, it's basically a whole video where I explained how to edit GoPro footage or action camera footage directly inside of the software. And there is another version of this video, which was a little bit more in depth on how to use Cyberlink in case you are completely new to the PowerDirector software. So go ahead and check out their site in case you're interested, in case you're interested in getting a 360 camera. This is about to kick off. YouTube introduced it. Quality is getting upped by the day. Right now we have some pretty awesome footage on YouTube, but it will only improve as soon as this becomes mainstream. Trust me, everyone's going to have a 360 camera and it will be the new norm. I can't wait for virtual reality to kick off as well so we can take full advantage of what is slowly happening. But as you guys can see, it's software that like this that allows the creators to create awesome things and of course put it out there for everyone to enjoy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe, share this with others, or of course, watch it yourself over in case you're looking for the tutorial aspect. And thank you guys for watching.